4.6 Formative Assessment For this assessment, try to mark your work exactly as shown here, placing the ticks in exactly the right places for the transactions as shown. This will help you to determine how well you would have done if this was, in fact, a test. Number 1. Owner introduced 200,000 Rand as capital into the business. The two accounts involved are bank and capital. Bank is an asset, and so in assets you will show plus 200,000, give yourself a tick, and your reason is that bank increases, give yourself a tick. In owner's equity you will show plus 200,000, tick, and your reason is capital increases or capital contribution, tick. Number two, bought and paid for an office desk that cost 2,000 rand. In this case, both bank and equipment are assets. Assets will therefore have plus 2,000, tick, reason equipment increases, tick, and minus 2,000, tick, because bank decreases, tick. It's quite all right to have two entries on the asset side and nothing on the others, as the plus and the minus cancel each other out, and the equation does balance. Number three, took out a loan from Simplest Bank, 50,000 Rand. The two accounts involved are bank, an asset, and loan, a liability. Assets will increase by 50,000, tick, because bank increases, tick. Liabilities, plus 50,000, tick, because loan increases, tick. Number four. Owner transferred 3,000 Rand out of the bank account for his own use. The two accounts involved are bank and asset and drawings, which is an owner's equity. Remember that when the owner takes money for his own use, he is reducing his investment in the business. In assets, we will show minus 3,000, tick, because bank decreases, tick. In equity, we will show minus 3,000, tick, Drawings, tick. Number five, repaid 15,000 Rand of the loan. The two accounts involved are bank, which is an asset, and loan, which is a liability. In assets, show minus 15,000, tick, because bank decreases, tick, and in liabilities, minus 15,000, tick, because loan decreases, tick. Add up your mark to give yourself a total out of 20. Now that you are comfortable with the basic accounting equation, let's have a look at income and expenses and how they affect the equation. Remember that any profit made by the business belongs to the owner. This is in fact the reason that the owner would have started running the business most probably. He wants to earn money. Remember that the owner is represented by equity in the business. Any money that he puts in increases equity, and money that he takes out decreases equity. Profit is calculated by simply taking your incomes and subtracting all your expenses to find out how much profit is left over that belongs to the owner. Now because profit is part of equity, and profit is made up of income less expenses, this means that any income that is generated by the business will increase equity and any expenses will decrease equity. If you have a look at the accounting equation, you can see here how we've put profit under the heading of equity. We've included income together with capital on the plus side and expenses on the minus side. At the moment, your incomes might include current income, which are services that are rendered by the business, or any income earned in providing a service to customers. Rent income is many, any money that may be earned by letting out space in the property that is owned by the business. And interest income may be earned from any investments that the business has made. Examples of expenses that might be incurred include material costs, which is the cost of items that are used up in providing the service to the customers. For example, if the business is a hairdressing salon, 
Material costs would include shampoos, conditioners, and all the other products that are used on the hair. Wages refers to the cost of employing casual workers and cleaners. These amounts are usually paid weekly in cash. This differs from salaries, which is the cost of employing full-time professional staff. These amounts are usually paid monthly by electronic funds transfer, in other words, internet banking. Water and electricity refers to the cost of using the water and electricity in the business. Rent expense. This would be incurred if property is not owned by the business and instead property has to be rented from someone else. Stationery is the cost of the paper, pens, pencils, etc. that are used by the business. Telephone includes the costs of communications, both landline or cell phone calls. Advertising is the cost of advertising the services offered by the business to the customers. Rates and taxes will only be incurred if property is owned, as this is a form of property tax. Vehicle expenses would include any costs of running a vehicle, services, petrol, tires, etc. Insurance might be incurred in order to reduce the risk of accident, theft, etc. Insurance premiums might be paid so that if there is an accident, the money can be paid out to the business. The last expense that you might incur is interest. If money is borrowed, for example for a loan, interest will need to be paid. Of course, there may also be many other expenses incurred by the business. You will just need to use your common sense to understand that there are expenses and from there see how they fit in. Let's have a look at example 4.7. Transaction number one. 5,000 was received for services rendered. Remember that services rendered would be classified as current income, as you are earning money for giving a service to your customers. Since the money was received, bank is also affected. In assets, you will show plus 5,000 for bank increases, as you've done before. And in owner's equity, you will show plus 5,000 for current income. Notice that we don't need to show that it increases or decreases because simply by specifying if it's an income or an expense, we can determine that equity is increasing. Number two, rent paid for by check, 1,200 rand. The two accounts involved are bank and in this case, our rent expense. Assets will be minus 1,200 as bank decreases and rent expense, being an expense, will decrease owner's equity. So in equity you will show minus 1,200 for rent expense. Number three, a check is cashed to pay wages, 600 rand. Since bank is decreasing, we will show this in our assets, minus 600 for bank decreases. The transaction indicates that the other account involved is wages. Since wages is an expense, equity is affected. An expense will decrease equity, so we show minus 600, and the reason is wages an expense. Now try 4.8 exercise on your own.